Oh, it's back. Okay. Yes. It says close unused. You may experience. I don't have any unused applications. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Creative Companions. You're catching me getting ready. <laughs> so while I'm getting ready, get yourselves ready. Don't need much today. Okay, keep it simple. Get comfortable. Hi, I'm Kim. Welcome to Creative Companions, where we're all believing mirrors for one another. Get comfortable in your space. Um, I'm going to set something over there. So I brought some art from previous weeks. Does that all look in focus and you can hear me? Okay, good. Um, you could zoom in a little bit for me, maybe, with the camera. I think that's the... Katie Mays here assisting me today, and I am so grateful. So reach up on the lens and turn it either way, whichever way it'll turn. Don't be scared. Okay, that's not the right one. Move your hand closer to the camera. Turn that one. Ah, right there is good. Now, hold your finger on the button, and it's going to focus. And when it's in focus, it'll turn, make a green square. That should be it right there, right? Oh, I did it. Wait for the green square. No, even take a picture. Okay. So now it should come back on. Give it a minute because I'm frozen. Am I animated again yet? Hello, there we go. All right. Thanks, Katie May. It's so cool to have assistance. Um, so I just brought some of, grab some art because I'm on location today coming to you live from Katie Mays downstairs. And I have this wonderful orange beanbag chair to sit in. So this is Creative Companions, where we're all believing mirrors for one another. I'm Kim. I'm your constant believing mirror. I believe in you. You can do the damn thing. Yes, you can. Uh, so can I. Every week, I try to show up for you, and I'm just going to show you some beautiful things that we make. And I'm always so proud of you showing up for you. Bring your stuff. Get yourself something to drink. Get yourself a comfy seat to sit in. Get yourself a blankie if you want one. Be cozy. Um, I'd like you to spend the next hour here. And we meditate. We create. We talk about stuff uh, while we create. Um, we are talking right now about Louise Hay's book, You Can Heal Your Life. And we're on chapter 13. I can't sit that there. Um, these are all arts we made like other weeks. Uh, I have a gigantic pile of arts we made in Creative Companions as we've been doing this together for quite some time. Thank you. Um, uh, so yeah, this is a collage. I liked. I found this one this morning. We wanted to know more how she saved herself. So yeah, this is about how I save myself and continue to save myself. Y'all help me save myself from my damn self. Like, okay, I realized something, like how often, like creative, com I get up on that one. Creative Companions is about like retraining our brains and that, that conversation and realizing that um, the conversation that we're most frequently having is with ourselves. And I was thinking about this the other day, you know, like I am um, like saying to myself, who me? Is that the voice in my head? You know, am I observing that voice or am I speaking that voice? Like, who am I here? And like, and then I realized like how often am I disassociated from the present just listening to that voice in my head and not listening to the other voices around me. And then I had the thought of Jody. She was deaf. You don't hear any other Oh, so mental illness. Jody was mentally ill. Jody and I were mentally ill mothers together. She left me here by myself. Jody passed away in August of whatever year that was. Um, Last year. It's already been a year. So this August will be two years. Jody K. Yeah, I loved her and hated her and loved her and hated her. But uh, and she me and she me. I and I we were one man. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going with that, but um, get yourself some things to color with. I, you know, me and River say we love all the colors. So get all the colors. Get yourself a piece of cardboard, piece of paper, whatever you got. Katie, I brought two of these little thin ones. Okay. Something different. Yeah. Um, it's always fun to do something different. Whatever size you have is fine. I have this size. Um, thanks, Donna. Yeah. Um, 
Jody and I had, Donna said sorry for your loss. You know, we've all lost a lot of people, and the older you get, the more you've lost. You know, my friend Sally, who's ahead of me on the journey, she's in her 70s, says, oh, Kim, life is bittersweet and the losses pile up. They do. The longer you've been alive, the more losses you've had. And um, I realize, like, I don't want to sit around and count up all I lost. I don't want to spend my time doing that. So you just roll with it, you know. And um, I'm really grateful for Jody's influence in my life. We were the moms together. And we loved all those babies, you know. And now there's new babies here that I get to love. And I miss her. Yeah, I do. Um, anyway, I'm here now in loving, in loving awareness. So look at this one. It's so cool to have these pieces of art. Like Whoa. these are all, this is just on cardboard, That's you know. Amazing. And what a beautiful reminder to me. Um, I don't know, you probably can't see that on here, but um, it says, because it's going to be in focus right about there. Because when I bring it closer, it's not going to be in focus, see? Unless you refocus for me. So over and over on this piece of art, it says, I am loving awareness. I am loving this awareness. I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness. So I am the awareness behind my thoughts. So now you'll have to refocus. Yay, thanks, Katie. We're learning stuff. We're <laughs> learning stuff all the time. Somebody said to me, Kim, um, you healing out loud is a really big deal to me. Healing out loud. Ooh, I like that. I like that because the things we were healing are the things that weren't out loud, right? We gotta like keep them in and so healing out loud. I like the sound of that. Put them in the shadow. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. Hydrate people. Make sure you drink plenty of water. Hydrate or die. <laughs> water is life. We are water. We are water and it is fluid. That makes you feel better, doesn't it? Does me. Mm -hmm. and look, Chandra says, calming the waters, you calm that right at your belly button like there's a pool there. And when we breathe, we can go there and just whoo, calm the waters. And when we calm the waters, then we can flow better. Having a newborn in the house, man. Uh, so if you don't know, I live with a newborn right now. His name's Aiden, and he'll be seven weeks old tomorrow. And they say that at seven weeks, then they're a baby, not a newborn anymore. But living with a newborn is um, really a lesson in presence. You need to be very present with them. They are only present. They know. They don't remember. You know, they're only here now. And it's really cool. Um, also, it's a lesson in you cannot control the timing of things. Aiden's stomach controls the timing of things in our house. <laughs> We are all run by Aiden's tummy, and he doesn't even know it. He's not intentionally manipulating us and trying to control us and get us to do his bidding. <laughs> we have to remind ourselves of that. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So that's what else Creative Companions is about, is just being here now and just being in the present moment with ourselves. And for the present moments that we're together for this hour, we're going to meditate. We do a different meditation every week to experiment you know find what works for us and what feels good i don't have a plan today whatsoever so very much spirit guided and here i am at katie's speaking of listening to that voice in our head so the idea came from katie hey why don't you come over to my house and do creative companions from there and i was like oh yeah it would be good to get out of here i've been like in the house with aiden yeah, I'm <laughs> so it would be good until last night and last night my brain started doing every possible reason why I couldn't come over to Katie's today and do Creative Companions. While the other part was going, but I really want to go. <laughs> <laughs> but, and then I realized, you're just tired. You're just tired. Just go to bed. I woke up this morning feeling like zippity doo dah. I can do the thing. Until, I don't know what happened, all of a sudden it started saying, oh no, you can't go over to Katie's today. You're going to have to call her. Um, go look in the mirror. Oh, because you look horrible. Oh. So <laughs> I, I listened to that voice and I went and looked in the mirror and went, hey, look at your hair, woman. You don't look as bad as you thought. You can go over to Katie's. And then, like, when I got in the car 
and like to go and I was in there by myself it's so quiet in there it was so peaceful in there and there wasn't a baby crying and then I was like oh I get to pull out the driveway all by myself <laughs> and I felt really good and it was like isn't that funny though like all the resistance that comes up that tries to like I don't know to do the thing that you like you really like to yeah, <laughs> yeah. The thing that you really need to do, or I notice it even like I have the liberty to take a nap when I want to in this life that I'm living right now with this newborn, mm -hmm. but I resist it. My body and everything is saying, You are so tired, go lay down. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, mm -hmm. resist it mm -hmm. until I don't. Yeah. So just learning to um, allow ourselves to find what feels good mm -hmm. and allow ourselves to do what feels good. And then while we're doing what feels good, have that experience you know that's part of being here now you can't enjoy the sunset if you're thinking about the trauma from your past can you that's a line from a song that I didn't say right but <laughs> um, but look at this <laughs> isn't that a pretty one so I'm just showing these just to say that spending an hour with you all like once a week for Live over two years now, I've been yeah. doing this. Like, what the hell? <laughs> two years. You can't even imagine the stack of cardboard art I have. Mm -hmm. I could do a show someday of just my creative companion cardboard art, and I love it. Like this one, I was manifesting what I wanted. I put all these faceted glass windows in my little house over here. Oh, wow. And look, there's a purple little vending tent. Whoa. See? I've never so, seen that. I forgot all about this one. There's an angel flying oh, over there. Yeah. Isn't it yeah. nice? Yeah. yeah, so last week we made an affirmation art, and this was mine. Golden opportunities are everywhere. I do yoga with Adrian. There's a shout out for Adrian. Um, she said golden opportunities this week. Aww, yeah. It's like me. <laughs> <laughs> so, golden opportunities are everywhere, folks. Um, I hope you're seated now, comfortable where you are, you got your things and stuff. Um, we have a bunch of m colored pencils here Katie and I are going to work with. Um, start breathing. Yeah, I forgot to remind you. Let's take some deep breaths together. Thank you, Mercedes, for the microphone. I got a microphone to use for my live feeds, and I haven't figured out how to use it yet. This is one of my challenges. I love and accept myself exactly as I am. As technologically challenged as I allow myself to think that I am, I muddle my way through one way or another. I'll figure it out. So just sit down, feel your feet on the floor. I'm sitting crisscross. Um, make your spine nice and straight. Take a nice deep breath, pull your shoulder blades together. Breathe down, feel your weight in your seat or in your feet if you're standing. Just find stillness here now. We're meditating. Just breathing in and out, slowly, following our breath. Breathing in, I am calm. Breathing out, I am here. I am here. Here I am. Close your eyes if you haven't. Just follow your own rhythm of, of breath. Deep breath in through your nose. Even hold it for a second. And then long, long, long. Let it come out real slow. Easy peasy. breathing, let your thoughts come and go, pop them like bubbles, so quiet in here, so peaceful in here.
breathing in and out, I feel good. Breathing in and out, I relax. fingers a little. Breathing in and out, I awake. You can open your eyes now. Perhaps you keep breathing in and out. I sure hope you do. <laughs> but breathing in and out consciously and slowly through this hour as you have this opportunity to create. You have in front of you a blank slate, a blank canvas, a blank piece of paper, cardboard. Um, you have your colors. Um, I'm going to just grab a couple to start from. Oops. Oh, man. Katie has some really nice colored pencils here. I'm very excited. Um, this is different for me. I'm not a big colored pencil fan or user, so this will be fun. Stimulating challenge. A stimulating challenge, that's right. <laughs> Learning to change our language. I highly recommend The Hidden, Hidden Language Code by Neville Johnson, and maybe we'll do that as a group together at some point. Um, Neville had a near-death experience, and... Um, he was shot in the head and came back with a lot of knowledge about how much we disable ourselves with the words that we say. Um, and we talk about that a lot here. And also part of what Louise Hay is saying too. Yes, yes, and it's what we say to ourselves. It always starts there, you know? And really, once you start becoming the conscious observer of yourself and your thoughts, you're automatically aware of what you're saying too. That changes too. Our journals help with that, you know. Um, one of our basic tools in Creative Companions is morning pages, three pages. You can start coloring on your thing. Just pick whichever colors appeal to you right now and do whatever you want on your thing. You might make all dots. I was thinking of making my art out of all heart shapes today because we talk a lot about coming from that heart space. Yeah. So journaling, that's three pages of brain drain where we just let the hand move across the page and whatever the mind says comes out the hand onto the page. Same with our art here. Think of it that way. Just allowing the hand to move. You're not censoring it. You're not telling it what to do. You're just allowing your hand to continue to move across this canvas. However it does, um, while you practice the art of breathing and also listening, we're also listening. You don't have to look at me on the screen. We're just hanging out. We're just hanging out. <laughs> we don't have to be nervous. We just came to have fun. And I think it's so cool. We have a blank canvas in front of us here. We have an hour in front of us. We don't have any clue right now what's going to be on here at the end of that hour, do we? Nope. Nope. <laughs> No, we can only see the movement our hand is making right now. As I was driving here today, I was thinking, I was getting a little anxious because how do I get there? When am I going to get there? Am I going to be on time? There, there, there. And my mind said, Kim, hey, slow down. Just breathe. You're here now. You'll get there. But right now you're here. Right now you're here. You're here. Nailed to this spot. <laughs> right? So here we are now in our present moment sharing this little experience together that we do and I appreciate you and believe in you and your progress. You know these art projects that we do is part of our group every week. Um, what is the method to that madness? Well freeing that part of you that just wants to express, that just wants to be heard, that's your individual voice. And the only way that it can be heard is if you allow it space. If you show up for it. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> you show up for your own voice and allow it to speak. And we do that through our art. I'm always, you know, I'm often amazed upon the completion of a piece of art at what I have done. 
and what I know about it in the moment of completion or maybe it, the next day when I look at that there's much more going on here than we know as we scribble right now I'm just scribbling See, Katie's doing, she's scribbling fast over there. She's like, <laughs> with her crayon or her marker. What color you got? Green? I got green, too. Woo! I and I. I am me and you are you. <laughs> I said that wrong. But I just made a heart so far. And just try that. Just keep your hand moving. Try using all the colors. You know, like, um, only go so long with one color before you grab the next one. See what happens. Keep going. Just keep going. And that's how we get through anything. We just keep moving forward. So we're getting through this book here. You can heal your life. We are on chapter 13. As I read chapter 13 this week, I thought, ooh, I'm not real comfortable to even talk about this. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> it's about prosperity. Interesting, I think. I deserve the best, and I accept the best now. Hmm. If you want that affirmation to be true for you, then you don't want to believe any of these statements. <laughs> and there's a whole big long list of them. I'm always in debt. Money goes out faster than it comes in. I'm trying to say these fast because don't I don't want them to be true. Yeah. yeah, we don't want these to be true. A penny saved is a penny earned. Saved for a rainy day. Got to hold on to it. Depression could come at any moment. Yeah, we don't. These are old, limited thinking. Tr okay, here's what Louise says. True prosperity begins with feeling good about yourself. Okay. It's also the freedom to do what you want to do when you want to do it. Mm -hmm. It's never an amount of money, it's a state of mind. Prosperity, or lack of it, is an outer expression of the ideas in your head. So, I realized also driving here, that maybe it was in a song that I heard somebody saying they won the lottery, they won a million bucks. And I thought, I could tell myself that, and I could act like I won a million bucks. Because if I won a million bucks, what would I do different? I personally wouldn't have to go buy a bunch of stuff, because I don't like a bunch of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, the freedom that people think that that will give you. Because, like, right now, I have more than I need, as far as money, resources, all of it. I don't have as much as most people. I'm considered pretty, yeah, people consider me poor. I don't. Mm -hmm. I consider myself prosperous in abundance if I have time to create art and uh, my bills are paid and my RV's running, I'm good. So we have to believe that we deserve to prosper. Because if we don't believe that we deserve it, even when abundance falls in our lap, we'll refuse it somehow like I do when I get a new toy, like my new microphone. I resist it, I get anxious, I won't play with it. Um, I say I don't know how, and it's very interesting. You know, and if you're thinking you want a bunch of money, what do you want that for? And this one really hit me. Do you say you wanna have money only to help others? Because then you're saying you are worthless. If you don't want any for yourself, you only want it to help others. Because you deserve. This is a hard one for me. Being grateful for what we do have will help it increase, she says. Be sure you're not rejecting prosperity now. Like if a friend, and <laughs> she says if a friend invites you over and offers you up, cinnamon roll <laughs> accept it with joy and pleasure <laughs> don't give in to that resistance it's saying you have a sore on your nose you can't possibly go to Katie's <laughs> so keep the flow of things moving through you that includes money so just smile and say thank, thank you when you receive a gift 
You know, sometimes we go, oh, I've got exactly what I was asking for, and now I'm all scared. In order to make room for the new, we got to weed our garden and get rid of what is not serving us. It's, uh, it's time to open yourself to the potential of receiving. Again, pull your shoulder blades together. I am open to receive. You don't have to say, I'm open to receive money. You can say, I'm open to receive, period. I am open to receive all the love and abundance that the universe has in store for me. I am open to receive goodness. Um, yeah. I expect my life to be good and joyous. Huh, she says, love your bills. What? <laughs> what did she say? Love your bills. It is essential that we stop worrying about them. A bill is an acknowledgement of your ability to pay. The creditor is saying, I trust you enough <laughs> and I, that you're going to pay me back. Thank you, Mr. Creditor. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you thank him by making those payments. <laughs> and instead of being mad about making the payments, you can be grateful that you have the money to make the payments that the creditor trusted you enough mm -hmm. to make. There. Yeah. And there's always more money coming. Every dollar I spend comes back to be multiplied. I don't know how any of this works. It just does. <laughs> and I find that really fun to play with with our thoughts and yes. our manifesting. Like, really? Like, just simple things. Like, could I manifest the perfect parking place? i got to go to the grocery store. So on the way there, be thankful for the per perfect parking space mm -hmm. and see what happens. You find the perfect parking space. It's so perfect that when you get out of your car, there's a $20 bill lying on the ground or just a penny, 11 cents, whatever. Just You're imagine, grateful. Imagine it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is how we make it real. So these ideas are for everyone. There are golden opportunities everywhere. So they, there are ones that have your specific name on them, I think. Don't delay your own prosperity. I'm reading from Louise Hay's book now. Are you still breathing, by the way? Mm -hmm. Hi, Wolf. <laughs> we are abundant, blessed, and prosperous. We deserve it all. I love you so much. That's right. Ow! I'm glad you're here, Wolf. Don't delay your prosperity by being resentful or jealous of those who have more than you. Don't criticize the way they spend their money. It's none of your business. Ooh. Each person is under the law of his or her own consciousness. Just take care of your own thoughts and bless others. I like that. Yes, that's good. Oh, visualize. Okay, she's talking now about visualization and, and doing this with our art, too. Visualize an ocean of ab abundance. Your prosperity consciousness is not dependent on money. Your flow of money is dependent on your prosperity consciousness. As you can conceive of more, more will come into your life. I watched Katie make that happen. I watched her abundance grow over the years, and now here we are in a home of our own. <laughs> in the orange beanbag chair. <laughs> Be grateful for where you are right now, wherever you are. Just take that moment of gratitude. And remember how far you've come. And, re and think about how far you've come and what, and to get right here, right now. I mean, I look at my RV, that's all I have to do is look at Dragonfly, you know? And I can so remember when that was just a dream, mm -hmm. you know? Are you still coloring and breathing? Making your art, feeling your fine self, comfortable where you are affirmations I say affirmations to that little baby boy all the time I whisper and in his ear when I'm holding him little baby Aiden mm -hmm. and the one I find myself saying to him a lot is you're so warm and comfortable <laughs> oh you're so warm and comfortable you're still warm and comfortable are you warm and comfortable if you're not warm and comfortable make yourself warm and comfortable you'll feel so much better are you warm and comfortable? I am so warm and comfortable. Okay, I am. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know. It's 
Is it because I'm in the winter, not in Florida this year? Warm and comfortable is very important to me. <laughs> Put on your furry socks if you need to. Sit in the sunshine. Even when it's winter time, if you sit where the sun can hit your face or you can see it, it warms you. It does. I'm so grateful that I have a window at the house I live in that has one of my faceted glass pieces in it. And the sun comes through there so beautiful in the morning. And me and Aiden get to see all the colors together. It's really nice. He likes to stare at it. And when he's warm and comfortable. <laughs> uh, uh, making a commitment to ourselves. You know, and just being committed to sitting down every day with ourselves and even just doing our journal or, or doing our art form. It's a practice. It's all practice. Maybe you get upset about that word practice because you didn't like your parents telling you to go practice your guitar or whatever. That was me. <laughs> I didn't like when they told me to go practice. Sports. Yeah. Um, but that's how we get good at stuff. And this is how we spend time with ourselves. And we get to decide what our practices are. You know, I love to practice yoga. I love to practice writing in my journal every day. I love to practice my art. Um, I love to practice my banjo, though I don't do it often. What do you like to practice? What do you like to practice? Um, I'm trying to do like my own like spiritual practice. Oh, ah, nice. Yeah, that involves like, you know, maybe some divination and candle lighting. Nice. Meditation. meditation. And just being grateful and giving thanks. Just nice. Yeah. And some yoga. Yoga practice. A yoga practice is nice. A gratitude practice is nice. And you could do that. Like, I have a big page that I selected for my art today. And I don't know how much I'll get on here. But you could take this and write, I am grateful for, dot, dot, dot. And fill the whole page with things that you are grateful for. And these kind of pieces are, are, are wonderful to have in our art spaces, in our homes, and for those times when we're not feeling so grateful. And we can look back at what we wrote and what we did. Um, let's see what Louise has to say. Whoops. Deep breaths, everybody. She says, open your arms. Open your arms. Take a break from your pencil. Open your arms at least once a day. At least once a day. Sit with your arms outstretched to the side while breathing deeply. Say, I am open and receptive to all the good and abundance in the universe. I am open and receptive to all of the good and abundance in the universe. And breathe through however that feels. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I say three times, hocus pocus, abracadabra, all that, you know, three times. Okay, so one more. I am open and receptive to all the good and abundance in the universe. And so it is. And so it is. There we have it. Okay. Look out for the good. You cannot escape the good things coming your way. How about that? You can't. They're coming at you. You can't get out of the way. There's so much good in your future. You know, we talked about loss at the beginning and that the losses pile up. And if we want to sit here and count up all our losses, we could do that. But so do the gains all pile up. And so do the wonderful opportunities and the wonderful experiences and the memories of greatness and wonderful things that you did. So you could sit and count those up, you know, what and to see which pile is bigger to see if you're a winner or a loser what would be the point of that you're both you're just you're here now if you're here now breathing in and out i say you're a winner you're doing the thing <laughs> you're doing it show up the first step that's right we just show up for ourselves and be willing you know and open our arms and just be willing to see what's next we need to shake up our concepts of money and abundance and what that means we must accept in consciousness that supply and abundance comes from anywhere and everywhere. It can come from anywhere. I like this. She says, then when we walk down the street and we find, she says, a dime or a penny, I'm going to say a dime and a penny, <laughs> oh, 11 cents, we say, thank you, right? 
It may be small, but we're noticing. I'm always receiving wealth. That's one thing I say. I see a penny, I'm thankful. I'm always adding to my wealth. I am wealthy and healthy and wise. Mm. See the great? So rejoice in the small new beginnings and those small little changes of thought that you're having. Rejoice when you catch yourself having that negative thought that you've been repeating all these years and you recognized it and you're working on it and you haven't thought it for weeks, maybe months, and then boom, there it is again. Just give yourself kudos for recognizing. Oh, there it is. That's that thought I used to think all the time. We know that's not true now. Recognize prosperity in your life. Hmm. Hmm, that's good. And, and realizing that just like the ocean and you take out one little cup of water and there's still so much more. There's abundance available to everyone. You having abundance does not cause someone else to lack abundance. Uh, there's abundance available for everyone. And we don't want someone else's good. We want our own good. I want what's good for me, and I want you to have what's good for you. They're not the same. Mm -hmm. We're each on our own path. And I like to say I am thankful that my higher self knows the highest possible good for me. Mm -hmm. It already knows and is out there making moves, <laughs> pulling things together in this tapestry of life. You know, so that the good coming, the good that comes my way is the good that is for me. Yes. Hmm. She says, we don't own anything. We only use our possessions for a period of time. And then they can pass on to someone else. There's a natural rhythm and flow to life. That's why we pass things down through families. Things come and go. When something goes, it's only making room for something better. So, breathing in and out, you might want to grab a different color. I know I do. I stopped moving my hand across the page here completely. I need a purple. So... Another lesson that haven't, I think I might have said, the newborn controls the timing of things. You know, we, we can't control the timing of things. Um, and we often try to do that. People say to me, well, how long does it take you to create one of those paintings, Kim? Well, I try not to think of that. I'm just in the now with the creative process, making my art and like this piece of art that we started here today that I'm doing. What if I'm not done with it when the hour's up? Should I hurry up right now because the hour's going to be up and I should hurry through what I'm doing? I say no hurry, no worry. You can always come back to it later. Um, artists also get hung up on thinking that there's something negative about them because they have a whole bunch of unfinished projects laying around. We all have a bunch of unfinished projects laying around, whether we call ourselves artists or not. There's stuff we started that we dropped the ball on or, you know, and that's not a negative thing when I say drop the ball or lost that thread. We just lost that thread for a while. We'll pick it back up again. You know, my art room is full of, like, I'm totally, like, just rearranged things again since last time you were all were in there last week. I moved stuff around again because there's that work in progress over there that I want to work on now, so now I have to move stuff so I can get to it and put these other ones over here now. Um, but my point is, we don't control the timing of things, and with our art, just breathing and being present with it and taking our time and allowing I say a piece of art for me isn't finished until I fall in love with it till I hold it up and go whoa not a single thing I could think else to do I don't like the phrase it's good enough especially where it concerns my art I don't like to go <laughs> yeah, well that, that's good enough and move on you know, like I like to go, oh, I'd be really proud to show that to my friends. 
Like, oh, look. <laughs> and I did, guys. You know, I don't want to go, oh, guys, I did this. It's good enough. You know, it, a lot of artists, though, go, yeah, I did this, but this is wrong with it, and that's wrong with it, and it's not really that good. Um, so it's also learning not to do that to ourselves. We learned with the artist way, judging our creative works harshly like that is artistic abuse. And it's abusing your inner child artist self who just had so much fun, even going mm, and sticking out her little tongue while she colors, you know, because that's how I like to do it. So accept compliments. Here, we'll go back to the book. Accept compliments, she says. These are a gift. Compliments are a gift of prosperity. Learn to accept them with graciously. Just say thank you. It's even better to accept the compliment and return it so the giver feels as though he or she received a gift. Oh, them return it. Rejoice in the abundance of being able to awaken each morning and experience a new day. I like to be thankful before I go, when I'm getting ready to create art. I'm thankful for this time and this opportunity to create something new. I'm thankful that I don't hear a baby crying and I can focus on this here now. This here, just this here right now. Be glad to be alive, to be healthy, to have friends, to be creative, to be having, to be a living example. Live to your highest awareness. Enjoy your transformational process. That's a good way to look at it. You know, you're evolving and growing and you get to watch it. <laughs> Write it down in your journal, you know. Breathing in and out, we're here now. Oh, hi, Robin. I just saw that you're here. Practice practicing, she says. She needs to practice practicing. We all need to practice practicing, you know? And just remember, um, sometimes at the beginning of the week on a Monday, I like to write in my journal, what is it I'm practicing? What am I committed to? Well, I'm committed to my artistic expression. I'm committed to me. I'm committed to myself and my art. That's it for me. I'm committed to spending time with those things. Um, yeah, I'm committed to practicing yoga because that helps me stay grounded and feel good and stay in my body. Mm -hmm. Committed to drinking water because I realize I need to be hydrated. Um, yeah, so practice practicing the things that uh, serve you well. We so often practice practicing the things that don't serve us as well. We practice our addictions over and over and over. Kudos to those of us who have work addictions. You know, we're all reco recovering. Um, I realize it's been a year for me for cigarettes now, Whoa. right? And I'm thinking it's been like 10 years for alcohol. So you can do the thing. You can do the thing, and as we give up those addictions, um, one way we do that, we find when, when we're giving up our addictions, we find that we have more time than we knew, because the time spent dancing with the addiction, now what are we gonna do with that time? Keep your hand moving across the page, try that. Meditate, drink water, go for walks, and, and remind yourself that you are caring for yourself. I care for myself so much that I want to break this addiction. I care for myself so much that I'm learning these new practices. I care for myself, therefore. Therefore, I drink my water, I do my meditation, I write in my journal, I make sure I get to make some art every day. Um, sleep. Oh, sleep is so, 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 so important. Um, yeah, wherever you are, you know, and, and also if. Like in my situation now, I wake up when that baby cries, and that baby cries about every three to four hours. Um, so segmented sleep is a real thing. Meditation also relaxes the body and the mind and all of it. If you can 20 minutes a day meditate, it's like a good nap. And maybe you fall asleep while you're meditating, and that's good too. Naps are great. You know, looking for that peaceful, easy feeling. Um, so I have come to the end of chapter 13. 
Next week, chapter 14 is about the body. Let me see how long it is. Oh, we're coming real close to the end of this book. Yeah, chapter 15 is the list. Mm, okay. So chapter 14, we'll be talking about the body. For now, I'm going to read you the meditation at the end of chapter 13. You can just keep breathing in and out. Either um, continuing to move your hand on your art and doing your art, or you could put the pencil down and just consider this our closing meditation. Either way, focus on your breathing and your listening. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. I am one with the power that created me. I am totally open and receptive to the abundant flow of prosperity that the universe offers. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. I make choices that are beneficial for me. I rejoice in others' successes, knowing there is plenty for us all. I am constantly increasing my conscious awareness of abundance. My good comes from everywhere. My good comes from everywhere. My good comes from everywhere. All is well in my world. All is well in my world. I appreciate you all showing up today. Finish up your art when you do. Um, if you would share a photo, we always like to see what everybody made. Let me finish this circle I got going here and then I'll show you mine so far. I guess I just tie-dye amnesia. That's what Vern's been saying we have. Tie-dye amnesia. <laughs> it's not the dementia. I'm just going to finish this circle here and show you what I got. There it is. I love you all so much. I appreciate you showing up and doing this today. Oh, I'll show you Katie's. How did we end up doing something similar? <laughs> I wasn't looking at your paper. Look. Let's see, what does it say? My good comes from everywhere. You can do the thing. And she's got two more to do. I like that. So she made little circles that she left open and is writing a little affirmation, like affirmation bubbles. Mm -hmm. My good comes from everywhere. <laughs> you can do the thing, for sure, whatever it is. I believe in you. I appreciate you believing in me, showing up. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next week. and. We'll do it again. Do you want to sing us a song or anything, Katie? I ain't got nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of just like popped that out. So, um, make today a most spectacular day. Come on, my friends. Come on along. Join in the magic. Join in the song. Make today a most spectacular day. Put your arms out. Receive abundance. I love you. Peace. See you later. Thanks. Oh. A call to action. My advisor, Christine, said I should have a call to action. Mm. You know, this is my offering to the creative community. I do have a PayPal me now. So PayPal me at Art by Kim Keffer mm. if you would like to contribute to the ongoing of this. I, um, donations are graciously accepted. Mercedes, our constant creative companion, did send me a microphone this week that I will learn to use and that is like greatly appreciated. Um, check out my YouTube channel. All these videos are on there. Please subscribe. I guess lots of subscribers are good for me. Uh, so click that little subscribe button and uh, keep supporting this creative thing that we're doing. Um, big things are happening and I'll keep you updated. So art by Kim Keffer on all platforms. All right. Peace out. I love you.